quickly go back to Richard for some breaking news. It is breaking news, Liam. The game, um, Simran against Motherwell, has been postponed this afternoon. A further first team player in the Simran squad has tested positive. He's now self isolating. A number of additional players are also required to self isolate. We'll have more on this, but Simran against Motherwell has been postponed. We just had our pre-match meal, we were just ready to get on the bus, uh, so frustrating obviously, but we spent the whole week preparing for the game and uh, to be, get to that such a late stage and to not get to the game is very disappointing, uh, we've obviously put a lot of work in, that's twice happened to us now, uh, going towards these two games and it's just, everything feels a bit flat now, we're coming out of train, we should be hopefully try to get three points and try, try to climb the table. That's nearly going to be a month now between our last game um, and this game, obviously, which can be very disruptive. We're, we are um, trying to make our way up that table and we're, we're without our run of games now. And I don't think you can get rusty, you can do all the training you want, but match fitness is, is a big thing and we are now missing games through no fault of our own. It's a very difficult time, obviously, for everyone. We need to adjust to it. It's disappointing, obviously, when you don't have the game this Saturday, but um, the main thing is obviously everyone's safety. We'll train today and we'll, we'll have obviously a good week ahead of Ross County ready for the next game. It was the, the week after the first game of the season. I slipped in training and the two bones started together. Um, and slice the meniscus, which is um, like padding between two bones around my knee and my shin bone. Nobody was near me, I'd done it myself. <laughs> um, so that's the annoying thing, but yeah, it's, it's getting there. When I got the call to tell me that I need an operation and I could be out for four to five months, it's, it's a bit of a shock to the system. It's the, I think this is the worst part about being a footballer. It's like a trauma injury. It's sort of, it's, you can't really do anything to prevent it. And there's nothing, there's nothing you've done to cause it. So um, it's not nice when it happens, but it's it's part of the game. I think I've got over the worst part of it, gone past halfway now. So I'll be able to start building up and doing a bit more. So it should be should be easier from now. Um, just getting the quad muscles firing, really getting them contracting. Uh, just trying to get it built back up to. The same strength as this one. There's a lot of muscle decay during the, the period, the six weeks after the operation when I had a I had a brace on my knee. A lot of the muscle rots away basically, so it's it's all about trying to, to get that built up again and get the strength back in. I have to do about 20 minutes, three or four times a day. So just to come in and just repeat the same program. Just keep doing everything a couple of times over, just to make sure it's all progressing properly and going where we want it to go. It's not nice to, to be watching from the stands, it never is. The most difficult part was with the, the European games. I like to think that I'd, obviously everybody did, we all had a big role to play in, in getting the, the club into the European competition last season. Um, and it was a massive thing obviously for everybody involved, so it was very disappointing to miss out on that. It's been disappointing to miss out on the, the international trips too. Obviously part of the plan last year was to, to do well to get myself back into that squad, which was obviously thankful that I did get the chance to do that. But yeah, it's been difficult obviously missing out on those trips. Hopefully they win, get myself back in the squad for the finals. Pleasing result. Um, I thought the parameters that sort of were set against us today with not playing for a month and we're certainly not looking for injuries at the moment. Good delivery in. A wonderful finish. It's a fantastic finish by Tony Watt. They won't get carried away at all. They're a group of boys that 
they, they never give me anything but 100%. Oh, he's brought down there, surely. Yes, the penalty kick it is. Mark O'Hara will take the penalty. Put Motherwell in the driving seat. He's taking it. Superb penalty by O'Hara. Motherwell go two ahead. Paul Ward sending it across. Yes, I like it. It's turned in. Just on the field, Callum Lang. Now we just need to build on that. You know, we've got two games in hand. We need to start climbing the tail, which we've started, and I said to them, our season starts now. Now for chance again, and it's number four for Motherwell. Devante Cole opens the account. Point on everyone you catch clean. I don't know. Yes. Ah. Yes. Let's go in for it. He gave up. Well, if not, we're troubles to seek really in terms of the goalkeeping front. Um, Trevor's going about for six or seven weeks. And good play there by Trevor Carson. Made up his mind. Realised what he had to do, but he's in trouble. The keeper's in big trouble. And the referee stopped the play. He's injured. Well, this is ominous. It was quite innocuous actually. The ball basically came through, a long ball came through, and Trevor done what he does well, which is defend that space behind the behind the back four. He's torn his meniscus and it could be six to eight weeks. Yeah. He's been fairly upbeat for, for Trev. <laughs> uh, I mean Trev's had a, a horrendous time over the last couple of years has, has been well documented, but he's been really positive. He started the season brilliantly, couldn't ask any more from him. Um, his international thing was going well as well. So yeah, he's disappointed but I think the, the stuff that he's been through previously, this is nothing compared to that. It's relatively short term, so he, he's in a positive state of mind that um, come January he should be back in training again. Well, now Aaron Chapman is coming down. Oh, what a moment that would be for him. Being a number two goalkeeper is very hard to prepare yourself. I mean, number one will prepare all week with the beauty of the game. The number two, you can say... It, out loud that you're preparing for the game properly but it's never quite the same um, so when you're a, a substitute and you've got to come on as a goalkeeper it's generally very difficult and I was glad that uh, one of his first actions was coming taking a great cross under pressure you know and I think that just settled him down when you, when you get an action like that early um, in the game it calms you down and, and then you can concentrate more on what's going to happen We've had to bring in Jordan Archer and we were quite fortunate to get somebody of Jordan's stature to be honest and I think this uh, Covid situation's helped with that, with, with, with people like Jordan being without a club at the moment. I mean, he's played a lot of games in the Championship, uh, he's a Scotland international and like all we're, recruitment we always try and get a feel for boys' personalities by asking people that we trust so there was boys that, that, that sort of gave my character reference and the rest of the stuff, stuff that, I, that I can see myself from footage and seen him playing before so we knew he was, he was the right type and we knew that he had the qualities to come in and, and, and do what we needed him to do. <laughs> Fox is going to be a longer term, you know, we're looking at March possibly, uh, although Foxy thinks it could be January, but uh, that's just testament to his nature as well, he's, he's dying to get back into it, but he's been helping me out, he's, he's actually going to see uh, PJ Morrison on Saturday, uh, he's out at Falkirk, so he's going to do that for me, um, so we're keeping him involved, he's doing lots of work in the gym, uh, it's just about trying to keep a smile on his face just now. Since I've come into the club, PJ's been an outstanding young prospect and we've tried on a couple of occasions to get the right loan for him and we felt that it was the next stage was, was to be the championship and that was uh, lined up with Air United and then uh, obviously the thing happened with Foxy and we had to use PJ as, as cover, you know, it was going to be accelerated. But when we had the chance to, to bring Aaron in, we felt that that was for PJ's development. The whole thing's about his development, really, because I, I do see PJ as being a future number one at the club, but he needs to be able to prove himself at the different levels, and they're under pressure to win that league, so that kind of environment is really what I need him to play in. Matt is in his second year as a, a full-time professional, He's been fantastic. The highest compliment I can pay to Matty is the rest of the lads love him to bits, you know, and that's testament to what he's doing. It's hard for him game times. The Covid thing's hit 
hard with the, with the sort of youth side of the football, the academy side, where Matty should be playing. So he's not had a lot of games. But in training, he came in as to help me out initially in pre-season, um, thinking that he might come in one week and maybe leave my next week. And he's been a he's been a constant since uh, we came back. You know, he's still got a lot of growing to do and a, and a lot of building to do in terms of his knowledge. But he's he's been I'm really really pleased with Matt. He's been he's been brilliant, and the rest of the lads are too. He's fitted into the first team environment long before he should have. We're bringing in players who I think are, are very good goalkeepers to start with. They're maybe playing at a level in England where they don't get noticed as much. And we're giving them a platform, as we do with the outfield players here as well, we're giving them a platform that they can go and maybe progress. They're obviously getting very good coaching. I don't just mean for myself, but I'm talking about as a, as a group, I believe that we, that we coach the right way. And it's about giving them that platform, you know. People then start to see them in a different light. You'll get more exposure if you're playing regularly up here in the SPL than you would in League One or Two down there. We're not recruiting people who are bad goalkeepers, but we're giving them a, a platform and, and, and maybe making them that wee bit better, but you're giving them that platform to shine. Nice. Oh, that's not a dive! That's just four on your knees! Four, point, boom! On the dive! I've got it there! Tenzi! Ronaldo showed up for my shot. <laughs> Delighted with the result, delighted with the performance. To come here and, and play like we did first half, got good goals at the right times, and, and then we defended excellent in the second half. You need boys to perform at the top of their game defensively to get something here, and when we needed a bit of quality up top, we, we certainly had that in the first half. Challenged the boys a little bit today because last week was some very good football, some really good attacking stuff. We knew it was never going to be a gap. We've won four out of five. You know, credit to the boys. We, we had a slow start in terms of points, um, but we've started to pick up now and, and going in the right direction. It is indeed all over. Livingston nil, Motherwell two. A very efficient performance from Motherwell. Ah! As I've seen a big man eh? See you on Wolves on the night, big man, eh? Brilliant. Fantastic. Da, 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 da. What a day, what a day. Just heading down to the Hamilton Palace grounds, down to the Starbucks. Obviously, with the COVID situation right now, things that we used to do after football, like go for coffees together, it's not really something that we can do, so we have to take advantage of things that we've got. You just have to be the best of it. It's been tough to an extent where I can't really see my family as much as I would want to. Obviously, with me staying in Dundee and my family being from Hamilton, it's hard for me to spend some time with them, and obviously for my daughter, it's hard for her to spend some time with her, her grandparents. So obviously, the, the family aspect for me is, is very hard. Hi, uh, welcome to Starbucks Drive Through. What can I get for you today? Uh, could I have a strawberry and cream frappuccino, please? Yeah, but is it medium or large? Uh, just medium, please. Medium. Look at me now. All right, thank you. Cheers. What did you do, Dave? Strawberry cream frappuccino. Fantastic. Good choice, isn't it? Oh, I'm sure not, isn't it? None of this coffee nonsense. <laughs> We're at the Hamilton Palace grounds. Just obviously where 
comes to the local boys club teams um, where obviously myself and my school team used to play our, our games when we played football. Obviously when I was at the Hamilton Boys Club, the entire boys club, played on those seven side pitches there. And then obviously all that I got and stuff with the, the school's team in third and fourth year and that we used to play in these other pitches. So uh, no, this was a, a big part of me growing up, so and that's it's good to come back here and see it obviously staying so far away in Dundee. The season so far has been it's been decent. It's obviously been a bit stop and start, but I think we've we've done reasonably well. And obviously for me personally, getting the armband at the start of the season was a was a highlight for me. And then obviously getting more Scotland caps to my name has been great. I take great pride in going away from my country and just being a part of a team that's got some big big name players in there. It's it's amazing for me and it's amazing for my career. And I, I love every minute and cherish every minute I'm away. He's done his hair as well. He's put product in that absolute <laughs> loser. Well, do a couple of Playing in a vital game in the playoff against Israel was, was massive. It was amazing to come out having three new caps and obviously to be unbeaten in all the games I've been capped. It's, it's been brilliant for me. This is one monumental kick. It is Kenny McLean and he's done it! If ever there was a time to seize the moment, that was it! And all of a sudden, a nation cheers! A nation believes! The manager actually had us taking a penalty after every training session. Uh, my first two training sessions, I scored them. And then it came to the day before the game and I ended up skying my penalty. So when the game went to penalties, Obviously, I was thinking to myself, how far back can I get on this list before I'd actually need to hit one? So I think I was probably about 11 for 12, I think. They would maybe got to try and make a sub at one point, man. Hit, let somebody else hit the penalty. No, I would have took a penalty any time after the, after the first five, but at the end of the day, we didn't have to do it because all the boys that stepped up were confident and we were confident in them to do it and we were confident in Marshy to save one of the penalties. Hey, yeah, buddy. You want to come in? <laughs> Brilliant. What a seat. <laughs> oh, but I've got two. He's gone for the strawberry and cream bit, isn't he? Yeah. <laughs> right, you can have it, just don't bully me. <laughs> See you later, Monty. You Monty's a legend, by the way. He's a top dog at Hamilton, him. Young Monty. I really enjoyed the run that we had in Europe. Obviously, I've never experienced going away in the flight to Israel and all the setup that's took and the early morning flights and obviously then playing on the Thursday, getting the flight home for the game at the weekend. So it was a great experience for me and one that I'm obviously going to treasure. Bushever send in the free kick. The ball goes behind, but the referee's pointed at the spot. And Declan Gallagher, who's just been booked, is going to receive a second yellow and the Motherwell captain is off. Obviously the way it ended wasn't ideal personally. It was a tough one minute for me, I'll say, but as I said before, I think it was a soft penalty. Uh, the man's already gone down before the ball's even in the box. So it looks clumsy for me, but realistically in the Scottish game that doesn't happen. So it's a, it's a lesson for me that for international level, for European level, that it's, it's a lot different than uh, the Scottish game. At the time, you obviously you feel as if you've let the boys down, you've let the fans down. I was sad at the time, I was probably didn't really speak to too many people on the flight home and then after that I knew I had a job to do. When I got back, obviously being captain of the club you always have to be on it and my body language, my posture, everything, I need to be right on it every day because I have to set an example for the, for the rest of the boys. It wasn't pretty at times but we battled, showed teams that were not fluffy. I think that's my 50th appearance for the club and I'm delighted to keep a clean sheet and I thought the boys were absolutely excellent. Being captain for that 50th game is amazing as well and to do it against a, a club that I was there for five, six years is obviously it was a wee bit of a, a special moment as well. So uh, no, it's, it's a great achievement for me and obviously here's to many more.